What would you want to be known for on earth? Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brandon and this is Film Flare, where we discuss anything and everything that makes film and television great. So be sure to subscribe and let's talk about a great movie. Now, Soul is Pixar's newest addition to its already great lineup of animation films. It's got some good characters with a story that continues the tradition of kids' movies answering grown-up questions. Is all this living really worth dying for? Now in this movie, Jamie Foxx voices Joe, a middle school music teacher whose own dreams of becoming a professional musician have never quite panned out. But when he finally does get his big break, he immediately dies. But not yet ready for the great beyond, he desperately tries to avoid his fate and return to his body before it's too late. And along the way, he has to contend with the brand new soul, voiced by Tina Fey, that's determined to make sure she never makes it to Earth. Now, I say the soul is brand new, but it's probably one of the oldest souls ever created. And having just never have found that spark necessary to make it to Earth in well over a few hundred years, she's content to stay in the great before, jaded with the possibility of ever becoming a human. And Tina Fey played the dichotomy of knowing both everything and nothing about the world really well. Having learned from some of history's greatest minds and figures, she just may be the most educated soul ever in existence. I mean, just take a look at some of the names of her previous mentors. But for all she's learned, she still has no idea what it's like to actually live. And when she finally does get the chance, all of her confidence and bravado just disappears into thin air. And then it's fun to watch her confusion at life and all of her previously held notions melt away as she learns that humanity isn't as simple as she's always believed. Meanwhile, her mentor Joe has spent his life so singularly focused on his dream that he just wanders through the rest of his life, never finding meaningful connections in any of his interactions. He's so driven by chasing the one thing he thinks he's supposed to be that he's never really lived either. In his head, someone's purpose is cut and dry. It's one thing and nothing else. But he slowly comes to realize that what you love and what you were born to do aren't always the same thing. Your passions, your purposes, your meanings of life. So basic. And that's something I really liked about this movie. It explores this topic through both points of view. The purely idealistic version of someone who's never really experienced it, and the real world perspective of someone who's been battered but still keeps their hope and their spark alive. Neither of them are 100% correct in their thinking, and it takes spending just a single day in each other's shoes for them to gain the much needed perspective for both of them to move on with their respective lives. You know what, I, I just let her walk a mile in my shoes, you could say. Well, it worked. Soul just may be the most adult animated content I think I've ever seen. And I'm not talking about the jokes because there really aren't that many. But this movie does ask some of the deepest and most personal questions in life. How does one find, know, and pursue their purpose? Something every adult has had to contend with at some point in their lives. Now Pixar has always made movies for the whole family, where parents can take their kids to the theaters but still find a reason to hang around themselves. But this one feels like it's made for adults, exploring themes that are never really experienced until adulthood and only understood by children at the very surface level. But there's still a lot of fun for the kids as well with the body swapping, the talking cat, and the figures that look like they were just drawn by children. This is a very good film from Pixar. It's not their best, but it's difficult to compete with the really strong roster of classics. But it's still great animation with a surprisingly deeper story than expected. It really is an enjoyable film, no matter your age. So I'd give it a solid 4 stars. But what did you guys think about Soul? Let me know in the comments below. And if you've stuck around this far, please do be sure to give this a like and subscribe for more reviews like this. We've got new content coming out every week. But until next time, have a great day, and don't forget to watch a great movie. Bye. Don't worry, you can't crush a soul here. That's what life on Earth is for.